Hey ladies and gents, this is Isdu is coming to you with a Mythic Legions review of King Noglin. Noglin. The Goblin. So let's go to the bio first. King Noglin. The caverns deep below the Greyvein Mountains have the distinction of being home to not only one, but two sprawling kingdoms. Locked in what seemed an eternal, like an eternal conflict over land and resources, King Noglin of the Cave, uh, cave Goblins and King Bromden, Ironjaw of the Cave Dwarves, have suddenly found common ground. The two kings have aligned their army's skills and resources to aid Gorgo Aetherblade in hope of expanding their kingdom's reaches upon Arathir's return. Huh. So they're up to no good. Okay. Um, I'm a little under the weather. Um, but I decided to go and do this review because I'm so close to 666 subscribers that I can almost smell the brimstone. Who will be subscriber 666? Anyway, I figured I'd usher whoever that person is in with this evil, evil king. Let me play him in. The king. King Noglin. On your knees. Bow down. Goblin King. Yeah, so metal. Alright, I don't know. I just want to play that. <laughs> that came with a uh, wrestling... Uh, Wrestlemania figure. Some of you guys may know who that entry music belongs to. But I, 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 it slips my mind. But before the battery goes out, I'm going to use it as often as I can. Whenever there's a evil king that wants you to bow down to him. So, Noglin is named after Eric Treadaway's son, um, Nolan. And if you watch the videos at the last G-Con, you got to meet Nolan, and you got to see how he's a very, very talented artist and a great storyteller, and sometimes he lets some spoilers slip, and he's just a really cool kid. So I am sure that Eric Treadaway put a little extra love into this tribute figure, you know, because uh, just look at it. I mean, look at the sculpt. Look at the character. Um, look at that face, right? Um, it's, it looks so um, sinister, and it's smiling, and it's up to no good, and you can just tell that it's a sneaky... Sneaky little guy. Um, I don't know if the camera can pick up all the lines on his face, all the intricate details, but see here, uh, you know, the little gleaming yellow eyes and the furrowed brows. I love the bags under his eyes. And then, um, you know, around his lips, there's all these tiny, tiny little wrinkles and lines. And, and just the, you know, subtle, sinister way the lip curls up. Um, awesome. And you can tell he's up to no good. Him and King Bromden both. Bromden, it was kind of, was kind of like, you know, this guy might have been a good guy at one point. There is some nobility to him, but this guy is a little sinister Mean little sneak and a nasty little goblin. He's got his armor. There's a nice wash on there, so it makes it look like he's been, you know, crawling around underground with all his other sneaky little goblin friends plotting to do something bad. And then the other thing is not only do you have the wash, you have the cape. He has a double cape which is cool, and it's got a lot of, like, distressing right here, a lot of cuts 
they're all you know all over the place so it's all tattered and then it, it's dirty you know he, ha he needs to take it to the cleaners but um I'm not sure if I configured it right but I, I wanted to go with the red cape over the black on this just because the red really shows all the um the dirt and grime that they that they mixed in there they did a good job at the factory making it seem like he it, this is a cape that's been dragged behind um Noglin uh for a long time and it's just gotten tattered and torn because hey I guess that's the way he likes it so like I said the armor is gold most of the stuff on him is gold and that's what gives him a regal appearance um, he's got this giant staff with a bonker on the head and I'm sure he enjoys bonking his subjects on the head uh, with it um, he's got this sort of scimitar sword it's, not, it's got a nicely painted blue hilt, a gold accent on the hilt, um, but it's it's very, very sharp. He's got um, also this nasty, nasty little dagger. Let me open that up so you can see what it looks like. Look at that. That's sharp. You can poke an eye out with this, seriously. Um, so don't go waving it around crazily. Um, that will also fit um, on the belt of the weapons belt that he comes with and he comes with um, this sword which is just a regular sword nothing that incredibly special about it but um, so he's armed to the teeth he's up to no good my favorite part is of course the bonking scepter uh, slash mace um, that he comes with so um yeah, let's uh, let's compare him to his buddy Bromden here and see who wins the um beauty contest. <laughs> these these are two must have figures, I think. Right? I, I they're small. Um they're royalty and uh they are Bleeding out and magnificent. I'm going to have to set up some sort of diorama where they're sitting around a war council table or something. Or, you know, standing around talking to each other. Um, Gorgo Aetherblade um, is, is, is a cool bad guy. But um, these two guys are going to be my favorite of that faction. Gorgo is the knight, the black and red knight with the antlers this so yeah i think this faction is going to be my favorite the goblins and the dwarves getting together with gorgo um very very strong characters i want to show uh what was my favorite goblin before this oops he's he's gonna ride in here um His shield is underneath. Before this, it was the Bog Goblin that was my favorite. I mean, Bog Goblin is still awesome. Because of the paint and the face and the, how different he was. But um, I think King... Noglin is going to take his ride. I'm actually going to, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to let Bog ba Goblin have this guy and I'm going to get, I'm going to take the new Star Wars uh, one and then that's going to be King Noglin's ride. So he'll have an even better one. So, you know, if you like the goblins you're definitely gonna want to get this guy um i think the goblins of all the races uh seem to have the most character um it, 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 i maybe it's just because of the sneakiness and of the mischievousness um, mischievous mis 
mischievousness that they all have that makes them, you know, so uh, look like such lovable scamps. Um, the other cool thing is I, lo I love the design of the crown. It's... Check. What the heck? <laughs> His leg fell off. I love the design of the crown. And um, how it's made out of wood. Like a tree with it splayed out and all those intricate details. That little bird's head in the front. How cool is that? I can't say enough good things about no good. If you're out there, Nolan, and if you're watching this, congratulations. Um, you got a really, really cool figure named in your honor. So, um, that's it. Uh, that's it for my review of Nolan is Dwiz signing out.